Hey guys, so welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we'll be trying to solve the 158A code forces problem that is next round. So I'll be giving a basic summary. So the first line of input will consist of two integers. So the first integers will inform you as to how many participants there are. So here since they gave eight, we have eight participants with different scores. Okay. So like here they gave the, they gave the second integer as five. So which means that any person who got the score higher than the score of the fifth participant should be allowed in the next round. So now say for example, we have all these participants. Okay. Now the fifth participant is 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. It's the seven, right? So all the participants which has a score equal to seven or higher than seven should be allowed in the next round. So in this, we can see that all these people have scores equal to seven or higher than seven. So there are six people like that. So the output should be six. Okay. Now, now like if the scores are zero, you are like supposed to output zero itself. All right. So let's see how we can solve this. Let's go on to a whiteboard. Okay. Okay. So now as I mentioned, the first line of input will contain two integers. Um, I'll be taking it as eight and five, just like the example. Now eight will say how many elements there are or how many participants there are. So you should have a for loop going from one till eight and accepting the, the participants. Okay. So now let me just look here real quick. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. Uh, okay. So we'll be having 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 7, and we should be putting them inside a list. Okay. And 5, 5. So then we will have a second for loop. Okay. We'll be going from the starting of the list. So now we have to check if the score of the particular participant is higher than the score of the fifth participant or not in this case. So the score of the fifth participant is seven, right? So now once we go through the for loop, we know that the first element is bigger than seven, even nine is bigger than seven. So we can increment count by one. We'll have a variable called count by default count will be equal to zero. Okay. Now, whenever we see that an element has a score higher than the fifth participant, we can increment count by one. So now over here also count will be plus equal to one, which will give you two now. And similarly for eight, um, then you have seven. Okay. So now once you do all this, your final value of count is gonna be six. Okay. Because six people have scores higher than seven. So that's the basic idea of this. And let's see how we can solve this. Let's minimize this and let's go on to code blocks. Yep. Okay. Let me just delete this real quick. Okay. So, um, include, um, and then we can using using namespace std your int main. Okay. Now what? Now, as I mentioned, we'll uh, be accepting the two integers. Now, according to them, um, it is n and k. Okay. So let's um, n and k. Then I can do c in for n and c in for k as well. Now, we'll also be having another um, we need a variable for our list, okay, because we'll be inputting the values inside our list. So I can put one comma and put a L here. And let's say it is 100 because they gave us a limitation that it will be always less than or equal to 100. Okay, so our list like, can be of length 100. Now, um, after we do all this, we can have a for loop for int i equal to one. I is less than or equal to n okay then i can just do i plus plus now that should basically be it now we have to add it so i can do c in then l of i okay that's it 
So now you are accepting all the numbers um, like that they're giving you and you're putting them inside the L array. Now we need our second for loop for let me just indent all this okay for um, int j equal to 1 j should be less than or equal to n then j plus plus okay now we have to again go through it and check if it is bigger than 0 and if it is bigger than the kth element so if if um, a of j is bigger than 0 and a of j is bigger than it should be actually it's not a it's actually l my apologies l of j and over here also l of j if it's bigger than l of k okay then what can we do we can increment count by one And have to initialize count as well over here and that should be it then at the end I can do a C out count okay let's see let's uh, copy let's uh, first run this actually and see if it works um, let's wait for this to run I'll be copying this um, pair of input right here and we should be getting the answer as 6 oh, it gave us an error uh, why it's not an error actually they gave us this weird number maybe it's because I initialize it let's see we are C out in count mm, okay I didn't initialize count to be 0 at first that's what happened let's run again and see if it works Let's see, I mean the answer is 3, now why is that? Maybe, and there you go. I put only the more than sign, it's supposed to be more than or equal to, right? Because we need it to be, like, which, like even if it's equal to, it should be able to, I mean, they should be able to go to the next round. Let's see now. And let's put this in, and there you go, we get 6 as the answer. Now I'm sure this is the answer. Let's copy this, let's go to submit real quick and let's just paste this problem in i mean the solution let's submit and see and there you go it's accepted so that's how you solve this problem hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you have any doubts do leave them in the comment section below and that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one bye